All right, welcome back to part two of my tutorial. Today we're going to be adding some text over uh, some footage we already have laid down here in Adobe Premiere CS3. Um, if you need to know the basics of Adobe Premiere, you can watch the intro video. So what we want to do is we want to go up to Title, drop down, go to New Title, and you're probably going to be doing a still. And you can still do in, uh, you can still do transitions with a still. Give it a name, something uh, you'll remember. Let's say this will be test. It's going to open up this dialog window where we can use a box. We're going to drag a box kind of generally where we want the text to be. This does not have to be the final place um, for the text. You'll be able to move it um, within this window. Down on the bottom, you can see all the styles of text. You can pick one, but all the options within it are, are you can change. So let's say we want to pick this, uh, this gold one here in the slant. We're going to write test right on our video. Okay, so now if we look over on our right side, we have all our options for this text. We have our X and Y positions. If we want to move it up and down, you can change this X, Y position. You have the width of the text box and the height as well. This does not actually change your text, so remember that. Going down a little bit, you have your font you can change. Font size is where you're actually going to change the size of your words. And then as you go down more, you can do your colors. This one here is using a four color gradient fill. And to change the colors, you just click on the sides of the box. So let's say we want to make this blue. We're going to bring all of our four corners to blue. And as you can see, as I do that, you can see it changing on the screen. Now it's not going to get completely done because there are other effects at work on this text as well. But I made the four corners blue now, getting rid of the, the four gradient effect. Also, if you see these outer strokes, this is what's going to be adding that side of the orange that you can see on the outsides here. If you want to change that, you do that here as well. And as you can see, they're starting to change. It also has a shadow effect on it. And you can get rid of it if you want. If you look there, we can just get rid of the outer effect. Or you can keep it. So any of these text options are changeable, so you can pick one that's kind of some similar to what you like and then change it. And again, your X and Y position are up here. Font size is under font size. Once you have this uh, picked, you can always come back and change it. You're going to X out of this window up here. You're going to find your text is now in your bin. Take it and drag it just as you would any other clip. You can uh, change the length to wherever you want it. And as any other clip, you can add video transitions to it as well. Here's your regular cross dissolve transitions. Boom, there you go. Now we have our video, as you watch, see in the source, our video dissolves, or our text dissolves in and dissolves out. All right, that's it for text. If you have, you can also add more layers of text. You can add, I recommend only doing one in each little text window here, it just makes it easier on you but you can always go in and add more.